So doctor, you're seeing patients here from all over the world and you're seeing our patients coming back. He is a wonderful gentleman. I hope you don't mind sharing. No, yes. I do it impromptu all the time. Doctors are looking and seeing. Uh, he's here, uh, he's from Kentucky um, University. Herpes scar patient. Do eye surgeons or eye doctors or anybody touch with herpes? Very good. Very good. Herpes scar you've been doing for now three decades. What's your vision change? It's pretty good. He's now. What I love is, have you gone back to your profession? Yes, I'm back flying. That's where I was off for a few years. I remember when he came, his doctors had sent him here, and again, all the papers they signed, right? None of this was guaranteed, blah, blah, but very happy for them. And your mother was here, remember? Yes, she was. And I, I remember everybody, and she wrote me that poem, remember? There's a yes. rose in the desert, am I right? Yes. You do I remember? I can't believe you remember that. Yes. I remember her very well. And she was here for his surgery um, some time back. Now, how, how long since surgery? It's been two years, it's 21. Yeah. So look at stability, look at the eyes, white. Was there any pain in surgery? Yeah. Yeah. No. How long was the surgery? How many hours? Not an hour, <laughs> 10 minutes. 10 minutes. Uh, yeah. Laser plastic. And yeah, so Steve? Back. back to work. Oh yeah. my god, look at this. That's great, yeah. Look at this guy. <laughs> look at this guy. Pilot, so this is a doctor what inspires me, nearly addicts me. It's not just even the data which we are doing so well, thank god. It's my patients, each one, they're coming back and they're doing amazing. Imagine a herpes scar blinded, look at this Priya. Blinded with very high regular stigmatism and central scars, herpes. Look at this image, no Most evidence, better. Better. in minutes. Yeah. You can see the clarity, doctor. Two years after I've done this laser plastic on his herpes scar, you can see the iris architecture, clarity of the cornea, and also don't forget he had a glaucoma shunt in his eye. Look down, please. See that elevated area? Look down, please. There we go. See that tube inside the eye? Yes. Stop there. Yeah. All the way down, please. You can see that bulbous area. See that? Right. right. Yep. So imagine advanced glaucoma. Look straight, please. Tube inside the eye. Herpes case. Very high regular stigmatism. And we turned him into a pilot with perfect vision. Doctor. That's amazing. Even at that time, remember, while you're signing the paper, then I speak to you until I go hoarse. That there is no guarantee. You're a horrible <laughs> herpes, right? Right. He still kept on ending the statement with, but I want to fly back, yeah. I want to fly. And I would go, Steve, shut up, shut up, let me do my thing. Remember Steve? Yes, I remember, I trusted you, but yes. Do you see, that's what I've, he's been seeing, this, today is the second day. So he's already blown away with what he's been seeing on day one yesterday, all these people. This is what should push you on the counter. Right. That's it, but be responsible, you can't do cowboy stuff. Responsibly, ethically, how many times did I measure you? Yes, yeah, several. Yeah, several. Mm -hmm. Make sure he understands everything. Make sure his doctor who referred him, the eye surgeon, understood everything. Okay. Then I proceed. Gotcha. So important. Ethics, strong backbone, and performance, all of it. And oh, uh, two years later, he is, and he's also a pilot. Imagine. That's great. That's yeah. what should make you happy as a, as a doctor. Is you put your patients not only somewhere in the society, but on the topmost pedestal. Who flies a plane? People with? Good vision. Exactly. Good vision. Yeah. See? Thank Honor. you. Thank you again. Honor. Pilot. Yes. I love it. Love it.